Hi, I'm Carrie Lee with Burleson Orthodontics, and on this episode of Chef's Corner, we're bringing you another recipe and some quick tips you can use at home for delicious meals that are also braces friendly. Today we're here with Chef Michael of Ocean Place Resort and Spa. Chef Toledo calls his style American Collective Cuisine with a sophisticated twist. You can see why as he prepares turkey meatloaf with butternut squash puree. Yum. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Good. Well, thanks for having me. Pleasure is all ours. Great. Well, what I'm, what I'm trying to do today is show how you can take some protein and add it into everyday daily diet along with some great vegetables and some great vitamins and nutrition. It's fantastic. Now, what I want to do is basically take traditional meatloaf and just add a little bit of love to it. And the love comes from all the flavors and spice that we're going to incorporate in this dish. So you want to get started? That sounds You're great. You want to help me? i uh, love to. Okay. We're going to take just basic turkey meatloaf. This is really brown. lean for being nice meat. Very lean protein. It's great. It has great high protein count. Can you just describe that for me? Of course. And what I want to do is I want to show how you can, because some kids are afraid to have that vegetables. Now, right. you can buy this in any local supermarket, as long as well as all the ingredients here in any supermarket. You can buy carrots diced now, you can buy zucchini diced, you can buy onions diced. So it's very kid friendly and, and, like, nope, and mom that. friendly too and right. easy on the run. So what I want to do is take my diced carrots and my sliced garlic. Mm -hmm. So it's about a third of a cup of carrot and about two cloves of garlic. Okay, so we're gonna throw some of that in there. You can always add more or less garlic to taste. A recipe is just a guide, so you okay. can just add in. Once you add in, it's kind of hard to take out, so you gotta watch a little bit. So okay. let's let's put that aside. And then we're gonna have some chopped white onion. Now you can use red. Red will bring a little bit more sweetness to it. Okay. Um, basil. I like to use fresh. I know the recipe says dry. We can just omit that at any time and, and throw in some good fresh powder. So we're gonna throw in approximately one onion. You can just put it right there for now. So we sure. can turn around. And then we'll discard a lot of it later. Then we have some beautiful zucchini, which have great nutrients. It actually ha adds a lot of that depth of flavor to the turkey, which is good. And it keeps it a little more moist. A little more moist. It has some water content in there. So once, once it starts cooking, it pulls out and it keeps that turkey nice and moist. Good call. Then we have um, dry oregano. We'll just throw a quarter teaspoon in there. Paprika. Now I like to use the Hungarian. I like to get that little bit of flavor going to it. Just a little bit, a little smokiness to it. There's also some great enzymes in there too. Though. Yes, absolutely. Some pepper, some black pepper. And you can, once again, you can add any type of ingredient you want to it. Um, I like to use sea salt. Now I'm going to add sea salt in now, as well as before it goes in the oven. I'm okay. going to top it just with a little bit extra love, because um, it'll bake into it and it'll give it that nice salty flavor, which kids love. Yes. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of Dijon, if you can hand me the spoon right next to you. Okay. There's about one teaspoon. Okay, let's discard that. Let's put these aside as well. Get them out of the way. You do about a cup to a cup and a half of seasoned breadcrumb. Now you can use whole wheat breadcrumb. You can use whole wheat panko breadcrumb. Add a little bit more nutrient to it. Okay. Keep it more healthier too. So we'll just throw that in there. And the panko would be a little more crunch? Yeah, a little bit more crunch texture to it. Yep, absolutely. One egg. Now if you notice, I cracked the egg on the side. Okay. And the reason why I want to do that is so I don't get any shells into the protein, plus yes. you know, salmonella and all that good stuff. So we're going to crack that. Actually, let's get that out of here. I'm sometimes famous for my crunchy omelets. Are you? <laughs> hey, that happens. Everybody makes mistakes, you know? So we're going to discard the egg yolk. Okay. All Save right. some, some Save fat. Save some fat. Yep. We're going to throw that right in there so we get rid of it. Now, the extra egg is for that emergency backup. Okay. We always put it on the counter in case we need it. You know, the kids can boil it later on and throw it at each other, whatever they choose to do. But we keep that just for emergency. It was an old game in my house. Yep. Now we just add the egg white right to it. And that's going to add a little more protein too. And it's actually the albumin, the egg white, right. will actually add as a binder too. Okay. okay. A little Worcestershire. Okay. Do about a um, teaspoon. Okay. You put that aside. And this is where the flavor comes in right here. A little A1 steak sauce. This will heighten the recipe overall. And you know, kids, they love that, they love that tanginess, right. that saltiness too, but not that all that heat. And this will, this will help that. Right. Yeah. The love of ketchup. Yeah. The love of ketchup. Well, that's actually in there too. Right. That's going to go later on okay. when we coat it. So we're just going to go ahead and mix all this up. Now, you can use your hands. It's very easy. Um, I don't want to get too messy, but I can show you the home cook. Let's get rid of that. How to just incorporate this. Now if you notice, 
This is fun for the kids to do too. Fun, fun for the kids. Mom can bring them over and say, hey, come mix this while I do something else. And this actually will add that vegetable nutrient that moms are always trying to get kids to, yeah. to eat, you know? And this puts it right into the turkey, which they don't even know. Right. You know? Even if you don't tell them it's in there, they're like, hey, this is good, mom. What's that, what's that in there? You know? So once that's all mixed up, we just make a beautiful cutesy, like the word cutesy. So you don't need a loaf pan, you don't need... You can use a loaf pan. Okay. Um, I like to make them individual. Because you know, nowadays moms are on the run and they don't have all that time to wait for a 45 minute meatloaf. Right. So if you make them smaller, like I'm doing here, cook they'll faster. take in 20 minutes, as the recipe says, they'll cook a lot faster and a little bit more efficiently for the mom to and get the food on the table. And if you made like a, you know, doubled up the recipe, you could freeze these too. Absolutely, right? yeah. Now, what's best about this, oh, okay, let me backtrack real fast. Okay. I sprayed the pan with nonstick spray. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and just form these in there. You try and make them as uniform as possible. What's best about this recipe is that it's universal. So when you're making this, and let's say you're done, you're all done turkey, and right. you have some leftover, okay? Tomorrow, you can take that same turkey, you want to throw that over? Oh, I'm sorry. You can take that same turkey, and you can crumble it up. Okay. And you can put it into a quesadilla shell with cheese, then you have turkey quesadilla, right. which is healthy. Then you could also take this, crumble it up again the next day, and make turkey chili. Okay. Or you can even, one better, you can take it again, crumble it all up, and you can make a like a nice little cob salad with crumbled turkey. So you can utilize this right. for three or four days in a row, and the kids won't even know it's the same to ground turkey. Yeah. So let me wash my hands. Okay. But when, we, when I wash my hands, we're going to then walk to the oven, and then we're going to jump on the butternut squash. So we're just going to take a little break right now. Okay. We're going to do our weekly web deal from Burleson Orthodontics. You can find out more about how to be a patient. So Don Marie, can you take it away for us? Welcome back. Chef Michael, you want to get back to uh, cooking this turkey? I do. You know, I was thinking about this. Instead of making a walk to the oven right now, let's go ahead and do the butternut squash with it as well. So this way we get all the aromas in the kitchen and we can hopefully everybody home have aroma smell of vision and they can smell us for cooking in the kitchen. Scratch and sniff. Yes, scratch cream. and sniff, right? Why don't you put that pan over here for okay. me and then we'll take this and we'll slide that down here. We'll do a little switcheroo. There we go. All right, so what I want to do is, you know, we we're talking about the healthy cuisine, right. the concept of keeping it nice and nutritious. So we have butternut squash. We're gonna go ahead and just cut this right in half. Now you can buy these already cut at okay. the supermarket now. Um, I'm just I'm just doing this so people can see how easy it is to right. work with, okay? Can you hand me the little sharp spoon there? Do you wanna take that center out? Uh-uh. That's good. Uh, don't that's put nice. it in there though. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's, let's put it, um, there you go, put it right in here. Okay. Perfect. I see you got some talent there. I've never done this before. Just a few times. A few times? But then we make it completely unhealthy by filling this with butter and sugar. Well, not traditionally unhealthy, but we're going to make, we're going to add just a little love to it. Okay. okay. We don't call butter unhealthy. No, <laughs> I think in the amounts we use. Right? Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> not so good. Now, if you notice, I'm using a spoon right? to take out the center. And that's a great little tip for the home consumer in case they can't find it already cut. Well, and it's also, I mean, it is soft enough that you don't have a serrated edge. Yes, you can just use a regular spoon. You can just use a regular basic spoon. Let's uh, discard that. All right, so I'm going to move this over to here. I sprayed this pan as well, just in case, you know, anything went wrong. I just want to mount the stick. Okay. Because okay. don't forget, the butter's going to melt, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Start all that's caramelizing. Going to, yeah, all that's going to get caramelized. And you want to make it easy for cleaning, too, for the home consumer. So you want to make sure that's very easy for moms. Okay. Right. So we're going to do a little bit of butter. Put one in there. That's where I went wrong. That's love, though. Okay, it's not wrong. It's love. So I think okay. we lost our butter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, don't forget, we have healthy turkey. Right. You know, we still have nutrition in there. We still have you know, lower fat. So a little bit of butter well, you is need, okay. You need some fats for your body to absorb a lot yes. of nutrients anyway. Correct, correct, correct. So we're going to put a little brown sugar. Okay, just a little bit. Just enough to add some sweetness to it. I'm learning so much about what I should be doing. <laughs> a little bit of nutmeg. The secret spice. And a little bit of, yeah, that's great. I love it, right? A little bit of cinnamon. And basically, that's the recipe. Okay. And then you just walk this right over to the oven. That is so easy. After you walk it to the oven, you let it cook right. for approximately 30 minutes. Now, you can cut that time in half by peeling it okay. and dicing it. 
and cooking it in the oven because it takes half the amount of time when it's diced in its smaller portions. And it just makes the butter and the sugar all together. Yeah, you just mix it all together, throw it in the same kind of pan, right in the oven. Perfect. So we're going to walk this to the oven now. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Why don't you grab the turkey? And I'll grab the butternut squash. Well, Carrie, it's been 10 minutes okay. and the turkey is halfway there. Okay. Now, the secret or the trick to adding that extra love and flavor to it is to glaze it with some traditional, come on, ketchup. Kids love ketchup, right? My kid requires a trough. <laughs> she doesn't really consider a condiment so much as a side dish. I love ketchup. This adds great profile flavors to this. Add a little sweetness. And you don't add it in early because it may burn or? It, it'll actually get a really hard gel on the outside. Okay. Like a little crust, which is what we want to do now. Right. All right, because we want the bake in there just a little bit. We don't want to add too much of that saltiness to it okay. beforehand. We just want to finish it off in the oven. So, we're going to finish this up in the oven, an additional 10 minutes, and we should be ready to do the butternut squash. Perfect, great. Okay. Carrie, you ready? All Grab right. your mitts, here okay. it comes. Safety first. Okay, the turkey is completely done, 20 minutes in the oven. Why don't you grab that for me? That's looking nice delicious. Nice and hot, right? great? Yes. Okay, good. That's what we want. That ketchup really, really helps bring out that flavor. It does. And here's our butternut squash. Look at that beautiful Ooh. amount of butter just resting right in there. See Set that bit. to the front. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to let the turkey rest. Okay. okay. We just want the proteins to kind of go back through and let the juices run a little bit. Okay. Don't forget, we had the vegetables in there. We want to make sure they're fully cooked. Now, if you have a kitchen thermometer for those moms at home, you can always use a kitchen thermometer to temp it at 165 degrees or over because okay. it's ground product. You want to make sure it's fully cooked. Now with this, this is the fun part. This is where your kids will have a blast working with this. You let it cool down slightly, okay? So if you can, if it's not too hot, if you can just scoop some of that out and okay. put it right in this bowl. Now do I want to get the butter in there too? Oh yeah, that's okay. all I have. put all that love in there. You want, how about you want me to pick one up and put the butter in there for you since I have really okay. no fingers in my hands? All right, there's the butter. <laughs> you no fingerprints, you're a dangerous no fingerprints, man. Yeah. So scoop some of that up, it's not too hot. Now it's not too hot, right? No, not okay. really. Now it's it's workable, it's yeah. pliable. That's the look you're looking for. Be able to just scoop it right out, right in there. It's a really beautiful color. Oh yeah. yeah just pull, don't be afraid. I don't want to hurt the squash. And you're gonna go right into this bowl. I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna come a little closer so you have okay. less of a travel. Whoops. It's okay, yeah. Okay. You, why don't you use the towel? It tastes oh, good, right? That's good. Yeah. All the flavor and the and the and the profiles all mixed together with the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the sweetness of the butternut squash. And then the saltiness uh, of the meatloaf. Yep, yep. Oh, that's delicious. But also most important, this is great for any type of season. You can do this in the summer with any type of pumpkin. Mm -hmm. You can do this um, right now as as the you know weather changes and breaks a little bit. We can do that. As you can see, the steam and the smoke coming off, it's just loaded with all that nutrients. Whoops. You right? There That'd we go. Good. Now, we can do both. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do both. Yeah. Need some help? Yeah, put all that love in there. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Now, is there any special trick or just go for it? Just go for it. The easiest thing to do is what you're doing right there is go around the rim first, break that seal of the um, of the it's really cinnamon. caramelized yep, on top yep. and it's... See, now look how good uh, that piece came right out. Only I don't know the yeah. first time. That's okay. You were, you were too busy afraid to touch it, so I don't want to bother you. Okay, let's let's stop there. Okay. You can get all that out later. Now we're going to go over to our food processor. Now, you can use a basic fork to mash it. Okay. If you wanted to, you can just mash it really easy, and you can do it that way, rustic style. Okay. Okay. Or you can go get a food processor. Immersion you, blender, if you have one of those? Uh, you could, but you might need to add a little cream to it. Okay. And then if you add cream to this, then you got turkey butternut squash soup. Uh, yes. so, which is good, which is good for the winter. Yeah. Rumble up the so, turkey, put the food. Exactly. And if you noticed, everything we talked about so far is very universal. Yes. As we said, quesadilla leftover, you got soup leftover, you got chili leftover, you got pretty much very versatile Anything recipe here. Anything you want. All right, so we're going to go right into our food processor. And we're just going to go ahead and spoon that right in. Try to disperse it evenly. Get all that butter and that flavor out of there. And you want to just give it, I'm actually going to use that spoon. Just, just joking. Just use this spoon. Just joking. We're just going to go ahead and pulse it a 
a little bit, just to break up all those fibers that are in there. And you can see the beautiful caramelized pieces right there. Done. That's it. Okay. Let's move that. Let's get rid of this and this so we have some workable space. This is hot. Just you might want to grab a towel. Safety first. Safety first. But I don't want fingerprints <laughs> We're going to have to slide our dish up, our forks, so we can try a little bit. We're going to lift up and get our squash. Okay, Ooh. smell that. Mm. It smells like fall, right? Yes. Right in the center of the plate. Another one. Don't forget, you have protein, nutrients, vegetables. And this is great because you can also use it, I mean, for a baby. I mean, for baby food and everything. It's yeah, perfect. absolutely. So we're just going to go ahead and slightly pick this one up. Okay, we're going to put that down. Let's maneuver that out of the way. Maneuver that. Let's get this out of the way. And I like to use a serrated knife. It's a great little tip. Ground turkey, some vegetables in there. You might want to make sure you get through a little bit. Now what I like to do is just kind of slice them on a slant. A little London broil action. Yep. So look at that. Look Ooh. how beautiful that is. Moist, tender. Look at that. You see all the moisture. See? Look at all that. Yeah. And then the, the colors pop with the yeah. green and the orange. Yeah. And you can do two little cuts. Okay. You say we call these pieces here for kids, we call them Scoobies. All right. Because they're just little, little bites of morsels of love. All right. And then we just go in here. Put that piece there. Put that piece there. You have a beautiful portion size. And then just a little bit of texture on top. And here you have your beautiful dish. It's amazing. We could even, uh, for the kids, I mean, when I serve my daughter, I, um, there's a smiley face of ketchup and then nice. eyeballs with the, with the turkey meatloaf. And That's great. You ready? Knows, oh, yes. You dig it in or are you digging in the Scoobies? I'm going to do a Scooby. You're going to do a Scooby? Go ahead, dig in the Scooby. Let's get a little butter on this crush. Oh, that is so good. Uh oh. Yeah, double scoobies. You'll get, oh, that's right. Double scoobies are always good. They're bonus scoobies. Mm. Good, right? The flavors. It really mixes well. You get the cinnamon, the nutmeg, mm. the saltiness of the ketchup, but yet the moistness of the turkey. And the sweetness with the, the butternut squash is. Uh, oh, yeah, makes it pop, right? The dichotomy there is really oh, delicious. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's my recipe for today. It's fantastic. Yeah, thanks for joining it's me. Awesome. Okay. Mm, really yeah, you keep talking, I'll keep eating. Oh, you don't want to sign off for me? All you. Well, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Chef's Corner. If you like this recipe or want some more, please go to bracesfriendlyrecipes.com. Just keep on smiling.